Good morning, everyone out there in Facebook land. All my friends, people I love and adore, all my favorite people. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I wanted to give you a help you get kind of get an idea of what it could feel like, what it could mean to actually work with your ideal client. I've been talking to you a lot lately about how to find them, how to enroll them, how to engage them, how to speak so that they'll listen and, and inspire them and move them to action. But I want to give you an idea of what it could actually feel like and how it could impact your business if you really got to work with your idle client all the time. So wherever you are, assuming that you're not driving while you're listening to this, take just a second and close your eyes and think of your favorite client. Not necessarily the one that fills up your inbox, not necessarily, it may not even be the one that's the biggest, highest paying client, but your favorite, the one that makes you light up when they call, the one that you just love working with, whether it's service or product based, you absolutely look forward to every single interaction you have with them. Get that picture in your mind. Can you feel that? Can you, does it, it should make you make this face. It should make you happy. Just think about it. Now imagine if that 20 minute or one hour interaction with them, imagine that your entire day is full of that feeling. You get to work with people just like that all day long. Let's say you have an average of four or five appointments today. They are all that much fun. They are all that rewarding. They are all that exhilarating and exciting and awesome. Now take that feeling and picture Imagine feeling, filling your entire schedule all week long with that feeling. Imagine, can you feel that? Can you, oh my word, it just makes me so excited. Can you imagine having that level of joy, that level of excitement and engagement in your business all week long, all quarter, all year? Ah, that's amazing. I know because I've spoken to many of you. I know that right now there's someone on your roster, someone on your schedule this week that you just kind of go, oh, I really don't want to talk to them. I really don't have it in me to be a part of that. I just don't, I can't do it right now. I know there's somebody there. Imagine, feel, feel the feeling of, of letting that go, of not interrupting the flow of joy and money in your business for that person that you just like, oh my gosh, it's not a good fit. They always challenge my invoice, they, they don't, they ask me for, could you just, and can I just pick your brain a minute? And could you just, you know, that scope creeping or that pushing you outside of your zone of genius, you know, there's at least one person on your schedule this week that just, ugh, it just is heavy. Let go, let them go. If they're not for you, you know, we've talked about that. They're just not into you and that's okay. Let them go. They're perfect for someone else. And if you let, I don't care how big that client is. I worked with a, a friend of mine who recently, I want to say maybe three months ago, lost two big clients and you know, not, not huge, huge, but, but decent size money. She was counting on the contracts were canceled. And I mean like two in one week and she's going, what is wrong with me? What's happening? And I thought, can you imagine what's coming next? That's good. You have to lose two clients so that they will have room to be in your world. Within the next two weeks, she picked up two new, great, big, brand, beautiful, amazing clients that are exactly what she's looking for. They, it's a nice contract. I mean, the money is great, of course, but they also want her to do exactly what she loves to do. It's amazing. It, what could seem like, oh, I just can't afford to let that person go, or I've been working with them forever. They're like family, or, you know, we're such good friends. If they're not for you, stop it. If they don't make you make this face when you work on their stuff, when you work with them, when you have a phone call or an email exchange with them, stop it. <laughs> Let it go. Let them go and work with the people that you know are meant for you, your ideal client. That's it. That's the end of the PSA today. Hold on to that feeling of filling your schedule with those amazing people, with those amazing products, and increase the joy in your business. Money always follows joy. It's the rule. It has to. So fill your day with, with joy and, and perfect people that are and not perfect, but perfect for you, right? Fill your day with that, fill your schedule with that and let, let the profits and joy increase. Have a fabulous day.